Hey, what's going on guys? The Atheist of Rhino here bringing you a video that I wanted to address uh, two different things. Uh, number one, in one of my videos I made kind of recently um, about feminism, along in the video I mentioned uh, something about how the wage gap between men and women exists. And I just did some research and found out that I was wrong about that. And in, in an argument supporting feminism, I was wrong which is a weird thought, but uh, the, the wage gap actually does not exist uh, at all. Um, well, maybe maybe like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but um, the the um, like reports show that it's pretty close. Like the wage gap is very, very small if it exists at all. Uh, the reason why there's the 70s, I can't remember the number, but like 73 cents or 77 cents, something like that, um, that women earn per dollar that men make, that is comparing the two averages of men and women incomes right now. That is not pulling into effect um, things like education level, experience, position, um, and many other factors. You like, There's a whole list of them if you look up the reports for the wage gap. Um, they don't carry in those effects. And if you do carry in those effects, the wage gap gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's basically non-existent. So my apologies for bringing that up in, uh, in the video, even though it was supporting the other side. Um, that was wrong. Um, and I, I, I apologize. I, I did not know that. I thought it existed because I, I guess I saw a feminist video where they mentioned it, but apparently a lot of feminists bring it up. And it doesn't actually exist, which is kind of funny, but not not too surprising of feminists. The second thing I want to bring up is something. So I was, um, it's like 7.20 p.m. right now. And I was, uh, I was like, I've been watching videos kind of on and off all day. I had class at 3. And so I was like, I was watching videos from like 12 to 3, it, you know broken up. I wasn't watching three hours straight of videos. Uh, and then, um, when I got back at five or about, about six, um, I was watching some more videos. So I've been basically watching videos related to uh, religion and feminism, um, you know, for a good majority of the day. And I came upon a lot of videos about feminism and there's something, this is, this probably is an attributing factor to why I hate feminism so much is the, um, the attitude of feminists about you know, all men are evil. Men are, all men are bad. All men are evil. Women should take over basically the female superiority, uh, mentality of feminists. And the, the arguments that they make, um, are just absolute bullshit. And it, it, it seriously insults me when they say shit like that, because, um, I'm a guy, so I'm an, I'm a 19 year old male based on feminists. I'm a rapist. I'm a sex offender. I objectify women. I'm at that age where I, I'm just full of lust. I just want to fuck everything that moves, and um, I don't care about women, uh, all that shit. Let me tell you a little bit about myself and uh, a little bit about my life. I've been dating a girl for two years and um, two months about. Yeah, two years and two months roughly. Um, I am madly in love with her and we have on numerous occasions talked about marriage. I've given her a promise ring already. Um, and we're talking about engagement. Um, when we both graduate from college, she'll graduate a year before me cause I have to go for five years instead of four. But, um, after college, like, um, we're talking about engagement and then marriage and we're, we've already talked about kids and everything. We've talked about all this stuff. Um, my girlfriend loves me a lot. My girlfriend, um, holds me to a very high um, standard because she knows the type of guy that I am. I don't objectify women um, any more than anybody else does. I treat her, I, 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 I literally, am, I'm a 19 year old male who holds his girlfriend above him. I, I make sure my girlfriend comes first in my life with decisions that I make, actions that I do, um, thinking like decisions for the future. Um, I put my girlfriend before myself and some people might call it stupid because, you know, there's no promises that we're going to last. And so then I, I could be kind of screwing my life over, but I do that and I, nothing will stop me from doing that because I, I seriously love my girlfriend a lot and I have never done anything that, 
um, constitutes uh, what these feminists call sexist behavior. Um, and ironically, uh, th this was something that um, surprised me is based on feminist feminism. Um, I'm a rapist. I'm, 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 I'll admit to you guys, based on feminists, I'm a, I'm a rapist because um, me and my girlfriend are sexually active and we've had sex where she's been drunk before. Uh, she's been drunk and we had sex. Based on what feminists believe, I raped my girlfriend. Even though we have a full consenting relationship where we have sex, you know, a lot. And it's, um, I'm not trying to brag or be weird or gross, by the way. I'm simply making a point that feminists, the feminist belief of what rape should be is awful. It's retarded. Um, and I, I'm a rapist. The, this, this guy who treats girls, like I treat girls amazing. I always, I always make sure to do, I always make sure to treat girls in general really well because I know the, what the type of guys they have to deal with. Part of that is, um, nailed into me because of the feminist movement, you know, creating this stereotype of all these bad asshole guys, rapists, like fucking horrible guys in in society um when that's you know far from the case i'm in college i'm at I, i'm at a, a state university with thousands and thousands of people big state university and you know a lot of these guys are really nice some of the nicest guys i've met here and uh yeah but um i i treat i treat girls right um i don't um, objectify them. I don't treat them like shit. Uh, I'm I'm really nice to girls specifically, um, because I feel like that's how they deserve to be treated. I om I basically hold girls above myself, not in some weird sexual way, but like just in general. That's how I that's how I am. I like being a nice person. That person. So that what I just described is a rapist in a feminist mind, which just it bugs the shit out of me and based on my um my college my college's rules i'm a rapist too because they they also say if, uh you you are not able to give consent um when you are drunk which is far from the case far from the case here is what my definition of rape is uh, in just including alcohol. I mean, there's obviously the holding a woman down and forcing her to have sex with you. That's obviously rape. Like, I, don't, I don't care about that. That's that's not what I'm referring to. What I'm referring to is when alcohol plays a role in a sexual experience between two human beings of any gender, male or female, male, male, female, female, uh, threesome, foursome, whatever the fuck it is. Um, when it comes to... So, like, I'm just going to use an example as a, a male wanting to have sex with a female because um, that's how it would be for me because I'm a male and I would want to have sex with a female. Um, I would never cheat on my girlfriend, by the way. But um, if, I, if I was at a party and there were two girls, I was let's say I was single, I was single. There were two girls that wanted to have sex with me. No, there were two girls that forget the wanted to have sex with me part. There were two girls, one who is drunk, but perfectly like she's able to walk around she's able to talk if i talk to her she's able to have a conversation with me and then there's the girl who's laying on the couch passed out because she's blacked out she doesn't know what the fuck's going on if i try to talk to her she won't respond like she doesn't understand what's going on if i had sex with the, the drunk girl who can respond to me have an actual conversation and if i said hey you know you want to have sex and she said yes she'd be able to say yes that's not rape and that should not be rape. I, there, there's a Young Turks video about this um, where they talk about what what should be rape and what should not be rape. And I, I fully agree with what they said. You know, it's absurd what they say is rape nowadays. If I had sex with the girl who's laying on the couch, uh, who is um, unresponsive and has no clue what's going on, blacked out, drunk, that's rape. That is definitely rape. Unless I was able to somehow get prior consent, like if my girlfriend consented beforehand, um, like, if, well, if like that was my girlfriend or that was a friend who consented saying, if I, you know, get blacked out drunk, you can have sex with me, which would be kind of weird. But, um, if they said that, then that's not rape either. And to kind of nail it into your heads, I'm going to give you a perfect example of why this should not be rape. And this is actually something that happens and has happened to guys that I know. So. Let's say I go to a party 
and um, I've been drinking a little bit, but I'm not drunk at all. I'm I've just I have alcohol in my system, and you know I'm just enjoying the party. I, I but I go to a party, and um, I'm hanging out, having some fun, and then a girl walks up to me, and she's clearly drunk, but she's not bad. You know she's she's coherent. She starts talking to me. We start having this conversation. We're we're having a good time. We're just having this conversation. I think she's really cool. She seems really interested in what I'm saying. And we're having a good time. Well, then she decides to start grinding on me. So we're dancing, basically. I don't dance, by the way, so this would never happen to me personally. But just picture that it, it, it's, it's happening. We're dancing. She's grinding on me. We're having a good time. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she turns around and starts making out with me. I'm like, okay, well, you know, making out, sure. She just, she, she leans in and she starts making out with me. Then I, you know, I'm making out back and then making out back. I'm making out with her as well. So we're, we're mutually making out and we're having a good time. And then she stops, pulls away, grabs my hand and starts leading me towards a bedroom. She says, let's go to a quieter place. Brings me into a bedroom, opens the door, closes the door, locks it, puts me, sits me down on the bed and starts taking my clothes off. Then we proceed to have amazing drunk sex. Based on that scenario that I just explained to you, I'm a rapist. I am a heart. That would, that would be rape. I would be eligible to be expelled from my college and sent to jail for what just happened. Because this girl came up to me, made, started dan- talking with me, started dancing with me, started making out with me, took my clothes off, led me to the bedroom, took my clothes off, and had sex with me. And well, and we had sex together. That's rape. What? What? The- this is what gets me about feminism is it, it, it just like I've said in other videos, I, I fully accept feminist ideas. The idea behind feminism for gender equality. Awesome. That's cool. What I'm against is the actual feminist movement and what it does because it's absolutely pathetic. It's 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 so sad. That should not be rape. She came up to me and did all that stuff. That's not rape. That is not even close to rape. Even if she wakes up in the morning and regrets her actions, that's still not rape. Uh, and, you know, I, I will obviously get people who disagree with me, but that's that's honestly how I believe, what I believe. That's not rape. But it just, it bugs me how, how that's what people decide, like, that's what that's what's rape. Because it's... Sex is sex is a more serious thing for girls. It's a, an emotional. It's a lot more emotional um, than for girls than it is for guys. For guys, it's more of just a pleasure thing um, because of biological reasonings. You can't blame guys for that. That's just how it is, and it's more emotional thing for girls. Same thing. That's why girls are more likely to say no to sex than a guy. A girl would, you know, bring emotions into it and realize more factors or think about more factors than the guy. Just like I want to fuck that. But I could, so I could understand how rape could be traumatizing to a female. Well, it could be traumatizing. Rape would be traumatizing to anyone. Sorry, that was a horrible statement. Um, what I mean is um, sex, like drunk sex, could be more traumatizing to a woman, but no woman would ever be traumatized by that experience um, if she knew what actually happened because a guy let her have sex with him. That's not rape. It would, even, if, even, even if a guy... Walked up to the girl, a guy initiated conversation, a guy started dancing with her, a guy started making out with her, and a guy led her to the bedroom. Unless she resists, if she, as long as she has the ability to, she's mentally able to because of how drunk she is. If she's mentally able to resist and she doesn't say no and she doesn't resist, then it should not be rape. Plain and simple. This is actually turning into a longer video than I thought. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to rant about that because it was kind of pissing me off about feminism. But, yeah. Have a nice day. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And um, don't don't commit rape um, in, in normal terms, not the stupid-ass feminist terms. Peace.